Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we are going to be installing the transmission. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to reveal the new engine. So stay tuned for that. Let's get started. So I went ahead and bought this bus transmission to bug um, frame adapter kit uh, from MP. And I'll pull that up on the screen right now. It comes with the rear mount, which is this big old piece, and then the front mount, which is this piece. And now this is already bolted up. If you're gonna do one of these, um, the one thing you do have to do is remove the old studs so you can replace them with bolts. Uh, but other than that, it's really straightforward. So we already got that installed on our, on our, uh, on our three rib bus transmission. And then that kit also comes with straps, uh, which are pretty, uh, pretty awesome for off-road so that you're not putting more undue stress on the uh, mounts themselves. So I'm gonna slide the transmission in and then bolt it up and then we'll deal with the shift coupler, which I also bought, which is this piece. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this is gonna work yet, but it's worth a try. Um, this piece supposedly um, will adapt from the um, the shift linkage, which is inside the bug tunnel, and it'll um, just jog it up to the nose cone of the um, the bus transmission. So we'll see if that works. I don't know. I've heard mixed reviews, but it was $7, so I figured it's worth a try. So first thing I'm going to do is install this on the end of the frame horns. As you can see, it'll just bolt right up. And then there we go. It is installed. I did leave them slightly loose because that way we have a little bit of uh, movement just in case, um, you know, we need to move it around slightly. And then next we're going to be putting the transmission in. So we'll slide it up to where we can put the front mount through those two studs. So you'll see that next. Hey, hey, what are you messing with? And just like that, the transmission is installed. I haven't tightened anything down yet. I'm gonna leave things loose until I know exactly where things need to be. But yeah, there we go. Uh, the next step now is going to be to try and install the shift coupler. So we'll do that next. All right, so as you can see, I just found this normal little bolt um, that I'll use uh, to go through there. Um, and then this will go over the stock shift linkage. And so for now, I've got the shifter out so that the shift linkage is completely disconnected because as you can see right here, this needs to be able to turn like completely sideways so I can actually get a bolt through there. All right, so I got the shift coupler installed. As you can see, I just used a bolt. Um, uh, the stock pin that goes through the stock shift coupler, um, it's too big, so it doesn't fit. So I just had to use a bolt. And then uh, I just used the stock screw right there. That works just fine. I did have to kind of um, peel this metal back a little bit just to clearance this enough so that I, because this requires a lot of uh, throw um, because it, uh, this actually has to move sideways um, to rotate this. So it, it ends up being kind of annoying in the amount of throw. Um, so like there's first gear and second gear, but then third gear is way over here. Um, so that kind of gets annoying, but we have all the gears, uh, shifts fine. Um, and so, yeah, 
We have a shifting transmission. Super excited about that. And finally, for the engine reveal. Here it is, guys. Doesn't look like a whole lot right now, but this is a two liter Ford Duratec engine. Comes out of a uh, 2005 Ford Escort. And factory has about 130 horsepower. And some good qualities about it that I really like is that it has a timing chain instead of a timing belt. And it is a dual overhead cam engine. So I'm really excited about that. Here's the engine adapter I have for it. This is from Kennedy Engine Adapters. New clutch right underneath that. So we got pretty much everything we need to put the engine in. I just don't really have a helper right now. Um, definitely a two person job because that's a much bigger engine than I'm used to. So for now, I'm gonna call it. And yeah, we have a working shifting transmission. Thank you for watching and have a great day.